Hi folks, this is Mike from RC Scale Builder, and we're here with my good buddy Patrick uh, PMFA uh, Ash. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> Mr. Ash here is going to show us uh, a couple of Futaba radios and maybe talk a little bit about the difference. Uh, well, why don't you show us what you got, Patrick? Okay, so good morning, folks. Here we are from Toledo. Come on down to the booth and say hi to us. Um, Anyway, some of the two things I wanted to go over with you guys today are some of the differences between our 16SZ and our 18SZ. This radio, the 18's been out for a little bit over a year, but I wanted to show you what options you can get on the 16SZ if you're not in the market to spend $1,100 for a radio and your market price is maybe in the $700 range. So, both radios have the color touch screen. And there's not a lot of differences to where okay. we took a $1,100 radio and was able to stick the same features in a $700 case. Okay. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. So the main fundamental difference between the 18 and the 16 is obviously two less channels. On the 18 you have the two T, T buttons on here and the 16 does not have those. However, it's the exact same case, exact same color uh, touchscreen. Another main difference in the battery inside of the 16 is a nickel metal hydride battery. The battery in the 18 is, an eight, is a uh, lithium battery. Another difference is on the back where the S bus port is, where you plug in a servo to program an S bus servo. Okay. On the 18, um, the S bus port is powered. On the 16, you need to run a Y harness with a secondary battery to power the servo when you go. Um, when you go to actually uh, write the S bus code to it. Okay. And lastly, the difference is the gimbals on the 18. You can uh, mess with the gimbals on the, through the front of the radio, and on the 16, you take off the back pads to uh, uh, to reach um, how to loosen and tighten up the gimbals. Gotcha. Gotcha. But other than that, the programming is identical. You can take an SD card out of the 18 and you can put it into the 16 and it will transfer 100 percent of your model's parameters to include trims mm -hmm. so literally you can go out to the field and fly the same airplane with both radios and feel no difference so that would make a good backup radio this would make 100 percent a good backup radio or if you're in the market for a high-end radio at a lower cost the 16 is the 16 could be for okay. you. like i said street price is 699 compared to the 1099 of the 18 identical programming identical radio there's a little bit less features in this make this more affordable for the you know for gotcha. the public. Gotcha. So those okay. Are the main differences between the two radios. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, look, thanks for taking the time to show us that. And uh, anything you want to say to your pals back home in Florida? <laughs> Keep stay warm down here, guys. It's about yeah. 25 degrees out front, and um, I did not dress for the occasion. It was freaking but, cold it was this freaking morning. Freaking cold this morning. <laughs> but either way, if you're here in Toledo, please stop by. My name's Patrick Ash. I'll be here with Greg Hoppel I'm in front of the Fataba booth. Come by. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have. All right, Pat. Thanks, All right, for, see you, folks. Th thanks a lot.